Right. Great compete today. We, we talk about growth week. These guys are doing, doing a great job attacking it and uh, find a little bit extra they can get better at each week. It's really the week for us of marginal gains, trying to find that 1% for each person that can lead to big gains for our entire team. Go ahead and open it up. I talked a couple weeks ago about the vertical passing game. Just how are you going about trying to refine that a little bit further this week? Practice it. Yeah, just practice it and find the opportunities. You got to take advantage of them when you get them. Those cinematic re recaps have been pretty popular. I'm sure you've appreciated it. What, what are you hoping those to kind of show with the program and, and I guess accomplish? Yeah, I think you can give a little bit of inside picture of what, you know, what it's like to be a player here. Um, an inside picture of the excitement that surrounds our team and, and the fans, like our support. Obviously, uh, great support last week at an away game. That's something we continue to expect, but just an inside view. And then obviously at the end of the day, it always helps us in recruiting, right? It gives a glimpse of what it's like to be a player here. Dan, what are your thoughts just on how the defense has been playing through the first five games? Yeah, they've done. They've made big strides. They've done um, a good job so far. But you know, the challenges ahead of us are going to be even big, even bigger. So we have to continue to improve and continue to grow on that side. Those defensive numbers have been impressive, but I'm sure the turnovers you'd be hoping for a little bit more. Is that something where you're, there's specific things you can do to help that, or is it kind of like sacks where they start to come in bunches? Well, you work it. You work it every single week. But today, I mean, every single drill that we did finished with some, you know, finished with some sort of takeaway, and that's something we continue to emphasize at practice. And usually, they show up in bunches. So when they come, hopefully, they come with a lot. How do you feel about the third and seven plus pass defense so far? Well, it's been disappointing, really. Not third and seven plus. It's been disappointing, really, third and 11 plus, right? Um, we've actually been really good third and seven to 10. Um, but once you look at 11 and longer, we've, we've had some mistakes. And most of them have been, you know, mistakes that we can control, you know, whether it be pass interference, uh, you know, busted assignment. But that's something we can certainly improve. You said, it, uh, you said it's a work week, not a bye week. Or you feel like your team has... Uh, accepted that message in, in practice so far this week? Yeah, they've really embraced it. They've really embraced it and looked for ways to attack. And this is also a big week for us to be able to dial it back and get, get back to a connection, you know, get back to spending some time with each other outside of football. You know, last night we got to have a team dinner together. Um, it was really, you know, a good opportunity to get around each other. We'll do some community service this week. So there's a lot of things that we can tap into and do outside of football as well. What would you classify like, as your team's identity, especially going to a tough slate, slate of games? Yeah, toughness, right? The toughness has to show up now. Everybody's in the season, it's it's getting longer, right? And you're really not even at the midway point for us. So we have to continue to look to grow, uh, you know, continue to challenge ourselves to make ourselves better. I think they're doing that. Is the expectation that Noah will, will play again this season? I don't think that's probably going to be the case, no. Sandra Boyle out for the year. Yeah, right now. Kyrie, any sort of update? I don't know about that, if that'll be the year. Okay. Kyrie Jackson. is fraction today. Have a good day. What is the benefit of having three running backs in that rotation give you compared to you know leaning more on two guys well the more the strength of numbers right same thing we've said all year the more guys that you have that can play winning football the you know the better that is for us what do you think Jaden lamar in particular brings to this running back room well i think he's shown his intelligence to be able to come in as a freshman and really execute um his assignment you know at a high level um he catches the ball well out of the backfield and he runs hard in between the tackles same, same question with dante then yeah, I mean, Dante's obviously a real physical runner, right? Um, big body, he's hard to bring down. Um, you know, he broke out a big run yesterday in practice, so excited to see his growth as well. Bo's completion percentage is extreme, obviously leads the country. Will had talked in the preseason saying like 70% is a goal, and obviously at 80, that's well surpassing. With better defenses coming up, what is realistic? Is, is 80 truly realistic in the last second half of the season here, or is, is that attainable? Yeah, I think what he's done so far is is certainly attainable, right? You want to have high expectations for your players, and you know, Bo set the, the bar really high. We want to keep it there. A year ago, you were playing the Washington fight song in practice to fire these guys up. Do you have anything new up your sleeve? You can be doing that again this year. We're going to try to win the game, right? We're going to try to win the game. We'll see. We'll see what that looks like. Is there, is there a stat or two that really stands out when you looked at it, and that that's, that you really like this part of the season? I'm not really a big statistic, guys. I like that W, right, at the end of each day, right? Um, you know, I know the statistics that matter, like we said, is takeaways, explosive plays, right? Um, third down offense and defense and red area scoring, right? Those are those are the ones that really matter. How and why has Troy become so much more effective outside the red zone for you guys? Like, he has more touchdowns outside the red zone this year in five games than he had last year. He was very effective, but it's just that much more. Yeah, when you can score from uh, far, right, that's a weapon for you. It's it's a, about a lot of things. It's about yards after catch. It's about yards after contact. Um, it's about finding ways to get them open, right, and, and make sure you take advantage of them when you do. But we've done a little bit of all of that. What's Jurion's press? I guess progress looked like, and is he close to maybe being a contributor? Yeah, he did a great job today. He had a big catch on us today. Um, you know, and I think he'll continue to, you know, grow. He's gotten better and better. He's gotten himself in shape. You know, he was coming off a knee injury there at the end of high school, and I think that he's really worked himself through that. So uh, hoping that he can certainly help us down the stretch.
What did you make of Nico Reed's performance at Stanford for a guy who's played a lot of star this year and was on the outside for most of that game? Yeah, I thought he did a great job. You know, I think our whole defense was excited to see him go out there and perform. You don't know when your number will be called. And uh, he went out there and executed at a high level when he was when his number was called. How important was it to see Dante Manning play the way he did last week when, again, no surprise, like you're going to be facing a lot of four and five wide sets coming up here. And last year against Washington, it was a tough game for him to see that kind of performance and probably an increase in confidence ahead of what's about to come up for you guys. Yeah, I think it's important for our players to go out there and execute a high level. He did that last week. We have that same expectation for him going forward. He did a good job. Were you able to treat Camden State last week as kind of just a mulligan and write it off to a certain extent? Or I mean, I'm sure there's things to improve on and to address, yes, but like, how do, how do you go about viewing it? When yeah, I don't know if people factor in. There's actually a little bit more wind there at Stanford, but there will be some other games that we play with, with more wind um, as well. But, you know, that being said, that yeah, I'd say Cam, Cam has proven over time that he can be automatic, and he wasn't last week. So I know he'll challenge himself, and we'll certainly challenge him to continue to improve. What is the last question. recruiting plan for you guys this weekend with the, with the off week to be able to – is everybody going to hit the road here for the full weekend? Yeah, we'll have a couple coaches go uh, out, actually out on the road today, um, and then we'll have uh, the rest of the staff out on Thursday and Friday this week.